Tesla vehicles are jam-packed with tech, hidden features, and Easter eggs that many owners aren't even aware of. So in today's video, we'll be looking over around 25 hidden new features that you'll want to be aware of. Let's get into it. Okay, so your Tesla is equipped with eight cameras and four of them are used for recording when your car is parked and in sentry mode, Tesla's popular security feature. However, many owners aren't actually aware of the fact that these same four cameras can actually be accessed live through the Tesla app on both Android and iPhone. So with live sentry mode, you can not only view your Tesla's cameras remotely, but also honk the horn and even flash the headlights. And one more cool feature is that you can even talk through your Tesla's external speaker from anywhere in the world. As long as you have premium connectivity and live sentry mode activated on the vehicle. So to do this, all you have to do is go into your Tesla's setting feature and head over to security. And from here, you can actually toggle on live sentry mode so that you can access this live camera feature from your mobile app. Moving on, let's talk about premium connectivity, which most new Teslas come with a free month to incentivize you essentially to keep subscribing to it. And realistically, this is because premium connectivity is really a key part of the whole Tesla driving experience as a whole, as it provides access to data-driven features like streaming music, media, satellite maps, live camera video through sentry mode like we just looked over, and even live traffic visualization, which is my favorite feature, along with a couple of other features that we'll be looking over shortly. That being said, premium connectivity isn't free, it's premium as it costs $9.99 per month or $99 annually in the United States before tax. But what many Tesla owners don't realize is that you can actually access most of these same premium features without subscribing at all to premium. And this is achieved through connecting your Tesla to your smartphone's hotspot via Wi-Fi, which allows you to still enjoy some of the features like video streaming, karaoke, music streaming, and internet browsing, along with basic navigation tools like traffic-based routing, trip planning, and supercharger availability. All right, so this is an easy way to get most of the premium features for free, essentially, especially if you have an unlimited data plan on your phone. However, to note is that you are forsaking live traffic visibility visualization, which I really like, live camera video, and a couple of other navigation-based features, but definitely give that a shot if you're not sure about premium connectivity. Next up, although it's definitely a rare circumstance, sometimes the charging cable may get stuck in your Tesla's charge port, or you may need to charge your vehicle, and for some reason, you aren't able to electronically open the charge port. That can definitely happen either at home or at a supercharger, which of course is going to be very frustrating since manually releasing the cable might seem impossible at first glance. Thankfully though, there is a solution to this. There's actually a hidden latch located on the upper left side of the trunk. You'll need to do a bit of searching to find the release cable's location, but once you do, just give it a pull and the charging cable will come free manually. Here's another feature that I actually wasn't aware of until recently uh, is that of course, you know, Tesla's navigation system will allow you to easily search for and navigate to an address within the screen of the Tesla, but there's an even quicker way that you can send directions to your car if you have an address up on your mobile device, whether it's from an email, a text, or even an internet search, where you can send it wirelessly to your Tesla in a matter of seconds. So to do this, just long press on the address in question, select the option to share it, and then choose the Tesla app. And from here, the address will be sent directly to your Tesla's navigation, and it will start right away. And of course, to do this, make sure that you have the Tesla app installed, that is a must. You also need to have Bluetooth enabled, any driver profile connected to your car. Okay, moving on. If you're driving with autopilot and realize that, hey, you're going way over the speed limit, well, you can quickly reduce your speed by simply tapping the speed limit icon on the screen. And the reason you do this is because, well, this method is definitely faster than adjusting the speed using the scroll wheel. And by tapping the icon, well, your Tesla will automatically and more safely lower the speed to match the limit in question, which could be useful 
able to prevent certain traffic violations if you're in autopilot. Another quick little hidden feature that might be common knowledge for some, but surprisingly, many Tesla owners don't even realize is that your Tesla's sun visors can actually be extended for extra sun coverage, right? So after folding on the visor, you can pull it to the left or right to reveal an adjustable rod that gives you more sun protection. Let me know down in the comments, were you aware of this little feature? I'd love to know. Okay, now you probably know that the parking brake is going to automatically be activated when you park your vehicle and exit the vehicle, but did you also know that you can manually engage the parking brake as well? So to do this, all you need to do is simply press and hold the park button either on the right steering wheel stock or on the screen for a few seconds, depending on the type of model and year that you have. And by doing this, the parking brake will engage and a symbol will appear on the main screen. And this feature is especially handy, let's say if you're parked on a hill or inclined driveway, but you're still in the car for some reason taking a call for a half hour or so and want the parking brake engaged. Okay, so get this, you're out and about and you're looking for a quicker way to navigate back home or to work. Well, instead of manually writing out the address or simply clicking on the home or work icon, well, you can more easily do this by swiping up or down on the navigation bar. And with one single swipe, your Tesla will instantly start navigating to either your home or work address, depending on what you've chosen. It's a really fast and easy shortcut that's fun to be aware of. Next up, your Tesla displays your battery charge using an icon on the screen. And by default, it's going to show the charge as a percentage. But if you tap the number, it will actually switch to show the estimated range that you have left in miles or kilometers that you could travel with the current level of charge. And so this is a simple yet handy hidden little feature that I like to use all the time. But keep in mind that the estimated range in distance is going to vary quite a bit based on your driving style and outdoor weather condition. So just keep that in mind. The Tesla app for iPhone and Android is a very handy tool for managing various functions about your car, such as enabling sentry mode, checking charge status, preheating your vehicle, and scheduling service appointments. However, one of its most useful features is going to be its ability to serve as a car key, which Tesla owners absolutely love, myself included. And with this phone key, you can lock and unlock your doors, open the trunk or front, activate climate control, and even vent your windows on a hot day. It's a really versatile application that makes the whole Tesla experience that much better. Now, by default though, the app offers four main options, being lock and unlock, turn on climate, open the charge port and open the frunk. But if you long press on these icons, a hidden menu will appear with additional options that you can customize. Some of these options include defrosting your car, honking the horn, and even enabling sentry mode. Plus, if you drag the icons around a little bit, you can even add a fifth icon to the control bar. And personally, one of my favorite features of the phone app and Tesla in general is the ability to preheat the car and its battery for a good 15 minutes directly from the app before taking off in the winter when it's say negative 20 out here in Canada. Not much beats that. And hey, in addition to the quick controls available in the Tesla app, you can enhance accessibility by adding the Tesla widget to your mobile device's home screen. So for iPhone users, simply press and hold on a blank area of your home screen, then tap the plus button at the top left, search for the Tesla widget, and then choose either the small or medium version to add it to your home screen or any page that you prefer. And once the widget is in place, you can easily access your four or five quick control options without needing to open the app entirely, effectively turning your phone into a virtual car key even more. And the widget also displays your battery percentage, the car's current location, and the status of sentry mode. So this feature is definitely one of the best hidden gems on today's list. Number 12, if you've ever worried about opening your Tesla's trunk in areas with low ceilings or overhanging objects, well, there is a solution. You can easily adjust the trunk's opening height by tapping the trunk close button at the desired height during an opening process. So once it reaches the height that you want, all you have to do is hold the button down for a few seconds and it will be programmed to open to that height every time that you use it, making it perfect for 
various garage heights. And then to reset the height later on down the line, if you want to just manually lift the trunk all the way up and hold down the trunk open button until you hear a beeping sound once again. Okay, now if you have a 2024 Model 3 or an upcoming Model Y, I'm sure they're gonna add this feature in that vehicle as well. Then you have a screen in the back for rear passengers. And one of the features that I've loved about this is that you can actually move the front passenger seat forwards and backwards from the back seat, which is super convenient when you're cleaning the car or looking to put the back seat down by moving the front seat forward from the rear of the car. It's honestly a fantastic feature that I've already used many, many times in the month and a half I've had my new car. Another new software feature that's really convenient and enhances the UI of the car is the new trip progress bar when you're navigating somewhere, giving you an accurate and real-time idea of where you're at on your trip relative to the end destination in question. Now, this trip bar automatically shows up when you set the navigation to a certain destination. And what's great about it is that it also takes into account real-time uh, road conditions and traffic, which of course is going to impact the total time traveled. Now, to make sure this is on and accurate, make sure online routing is on, which can be done from within the Tesla setting menu. Uh, that being said, this does require premium connectivity, so keep that in mind. All right, now most cars tend to have an automatic lock and unlock sound, and here's what the standard one is like for the Tesla Model 3. New to the software upgrades though, is that you can customize this by going into the play box and choosing from one of the many new sounds available. Here's what most of them sound like. So yes, that's kind of a little fun gimmicky feature, especially if you have kids. This is also a new feature to the Tesla software, which is that it automatically turns on and off the turn signals when you're merging and changing lanes. Now, this is a pretty standard feature that uh, I'm surprised hasn't been around for longer. I'm pretty sure it was available on the Model Y for a couple of years, but it is relatively new to the three. Uh, and it is really practical. And again, you can turn this feature on from the settings menu under navigation. And Here's what that looks like in the vehicle while you're driving. It's really a great feature that I love to use. You might already know this, but you can surprisingly do a lot to your vehicle with voice commands from turning on climate, opening the glove box, opening and closing the charge port, and a whole bunch of other features. To do this, just click on the voice command button and command away. It's really that simple. And here are a couple of my favorite commands. My ass is cold. My hands are cold. Open glove box. Open butthole. Tesla Vision is one of the coolest features available in any Tesla vehicle, and it's really practical for a variety of uses, notably when you're navigating parking lots and using self-drive features. So essentially, Tesla Vision operates by processing the visual data around the car captured by its cameras through sophisticated neural networks. And these networks are then designed to mimic the actions of the human brain, learning from patterns and experiences to make more accurate predictions and decisions later on down the road, no pun intended. What's cool though, is that it allows you to visually see all of the surroundings of your vehicle, which impresses me every time I drive the car. It's able to accurately identify cars, trucks, bicycles, pedestrians, and even road signs to a really impressive degree. And to turn this on, all you have to do is navigate to the park assist section in autopilot and turn on Tesla vision, which will turn it on when you're parking. Another great new feature that you may not be aware 
aware of is that you can now choose what your left scroll wheel will control on the steering wheel. And this is done by clicking down on the scroll wheel and a little selection menu will pop up, at which point there are a few options to choose from. But ultimately, it's your decision to make. So that's a fun little hidden feature that I use all the time and hopefully it'll help you out. Okay, now one feature that I absolutely love is that you can make your car chime when the light turns green when you're sitting at an intersection. So to activate this feature, you can do so in the settings menu again and essentially when you're at an intersection and the light turns green the car will do a nice little chime which is super practical if you're say talking to other passengers or looking at the screen where you're alerted by a nice little chime sound instead of an angry pickup driver behind you honking. Here's another feature that you may not have heard of. Did you know that you can actually play music on the outside of your car through the small speaker used to make that famous Tesla reversing sound? This is actually achieved through the boombox feature that you will find in the toy box section and allows you to play music on the outside of the car, which is really practical when you're say washing your car or at a car meet, let's say. So here's what that looks and sounds like in practice. And then if you're actually playing music, this will play outside on the reverse speaker so that you can listen to it outside essentially. And if you want to have this playing while you're say in car wash mode though, you have to put the car into camp mode and that'll allow the speaker to continue playing the music outside. A fantastic new feature that everyone is sure to love is the speed camera chime. So essentially the car is going to do a nice little chime once again if you're approaching a speed camera that is known to be in a certain area and is located on the map that Tesla is accessing. So for this, you also need to have premium connectivity. And this is something that could potentially save you hundreds of dollars in speed fines over the years. Now, of course, this isn't to promote speeding, but everyone's been in a situation where you drive past a speed camera going 10 over the limit and you get a nasty little fine. So this is a great feature that if you want to turn on, you can do so in the navigation settings as well. Moving on, changing up the tires on your Tesla can ensure that you're ready for shifting weather and exploring new terrains. But what many owners don't know is that you can tell your Tesla when you've changed tires to ensure that key efficiency calculations that the computer of your car is doing at all times, such as range, remains accurate. So updating your tire type is very simple. You head to the service menu in the settings and tap wheel configuration. And from here, you can select different wheel types. All right, and finally, there is one last feature here that I do want to share in today's video, and that is a new setting where you can automatically open the trunk of your vehicle when you approach it with your iPhone. So let me show you how to turn this on and then we'll look at it in practice. So of course to do this, we need to go back into the settings and in this time it's going to be under the lock tab. And if we swipe down here, there's a feature called hands-free trunk. Whoops, uh, locks. Hands-free trunk essentially, which if you click on the eye icon, it's gonna show you stand still behind your trunk and the phone key, right? So you can turn that off or on. Let's turn it on and see how it looks in practice. And finally, here are a couple notable mentions. So did you know that when plugging in the Tesla, if you push the button on the charging cable 10 times when it is plugged into the car, it will actually make the T logo turn into a rainbow. Kind of fun if you have kids. Number two, you can long press the temperature to turn HVAC off or on. And also you can long press and then slide to turn music up or down and climate up or down as well. Additionally, number three here, you can turn off the climate on one side only of the vehicle by long pressing on the side that you want to turn on or off. So there you go, that covers a ton of hidden features and functionality that many Tesla owners aren't aware of. Make sure to let me know down in the comments which ones are new to you after watching today's video. And if you enjoyed today's video, please take a second to drop a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more Tesla and vehicle related content. Thanks a lot for watching. If you want to see more content about Tesla and EVs, make sure to check out one of these two videos right here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.